Hello, my name's Sonia. Welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm going to be doing a monthly reading for Pisces for April 2017. Um, before I started, I drew a card. I'm starting to use the Patrick Gamble Psychic Artist cards. I have several of Patrick's paintings in my home and I adore his cards, so I thought I'd share them all with you. The card I pulled for Pisces is A Winter's Dream absolutely beautiful picture of how the moon illuminates the winter sky and it's about soaking up that moon energy and it's about believing in magic and believing in the greater consciousness okay I'm feeling very drawn to the fairy tarot cards by drawing Vault Virtue at the moment, so I'm being, using those for the reading. Uh, so we're looking for guidance for Pisces. As I shuffle the cards, I've been made aware that there's a lot of financial issues that need sorting out for you as in the coming weeks ahead. Don't ignore those issues. You need to deal with those as they come up. Um, save a penny save a pound so I'm, I'm thinking it's that like not mega it's the smaller things that will actually bring you the bigger rewards okay let's do the cards okay so your overall energy is the eight of winter the winter of all the uh, air signs the swords the, the mind cards so this is about um feeling trapped and feeling as though there's nowhere to go what does it say you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself thinking you, that you're powerless when you're not a lot lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want we can have anything we want <laughs> the universe will make it happen it's not just thinking it, it's actually truly believing it. So you may not feel that you have any way to turn right now, but you do. There is always, always, always a solution to every problem. Okay. So let's see what's going on around you at the moment. I love this card. Well, I love all the cards in the tarot. So it's number nine, the hermit the solitary but he's shining a light it says on the card to find or be a mentor take a break from society a commitment to your spiritual growth so spiritually the month of April is, is you're going to shine so it's about finding maybe you need to find yourself um, a spiritual mentor, a circle, learn more. The number nines are about unconditional love as well. And that's something that we get from spirit. Or if you are spiritually inclined and you do do this stuff, perhaps it's time for you to start teaching. And if you're thinking about the financial side of things, then... The universe will always make it happen if it's what's meant to be. And the finances will take care of themselves. Okay, so let's see what stops you moving forward. Another major arcana. Beautiful, beautiful card and it's the magician. Now the magician has everything he needs in life. Two fantastic cards, the hermit and the magician. So why does that stop you moving forward? The, the magician should be self-employed. You can do absolutely anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to, to succeed. So this is about believing. April is about believing. Sort out your small financial issues and believe. Trust in yourself as well. Have enough confidence in yourself that actually you can do this and you don't need anybody else to do it. 
Okay, so what's led up to this then? The Ace of Autumn. A windfall of money or advice from others, a successful project and a change in your career. So it is the New Beginnings card. So the opportunity is either just come or it's going to come very, very quickly because this is what's leading up to April. We've got a new moon coming on the 28th of March as well. So take those opportunities, look for them, set the intentions. If you set the intentions of something that you really want to do before you go to bed at night, you'll be amazed at what opportunities will flow because you've set that intention to make it happen. Okay, let's see what's in your subconscious. The subconscious is the two of spring. A bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. So perhaps there is somebody that you you setting up a business together, doing something with someone else. This is about looking out there and knowing that there's more out there. There's more to life. There's more. This is this is your time to shine. Going through to April, this is the time to to put your dreams into action. In your higher conscious, we have the King of Summer. A romantic partner you can trust, excellent advice that comes from the heart, getting involved in a creative endeavour. So, you can trust your partner. If you don't have a partner, then this is a love card. It's the king of summer. It, it's, it's the emotion card. If you don't have a partner, then there's one there waiting for you. Again, it's about manifesting what you want, making the opportunity arise. If you're not in a relationship, I feel that this, this relationship will come from work, will be based around work and be based around these new opportunities that are coming your way. Okay, so let's see your way forward. Oh. I don't have a favourite tarot card because I love them all, but this one is beautiful. It's 21, the world, a brilliant success, the freedom to go any direction, the journey is now complete. So this is about you accepting that you've been there, you've done that, and you've experienced everything that you need to experience. And now accept everything for what it is, and know that there is the world is your oyster. You can have anything you want to have. What I said earlier is very much so for Pisces in, in April, is to go out there and believe that this will happen and this is what you want. You can make it happen. By the time we get to the world card in the it is the last of the major arcana, the last numbered card of the major arcana, and we go back to being the fool, because the fool starts the journey and the fool ends the journey. He goes full circle and then he starts off again. So this is about starting again, starting new new beginnings, new especially spiritual beliefs and feelings and thoughts and and trust in spirit. Okay, so let's see your way forward. Okay, the King of Winter. So where you've got the emotion in the higher conscious, your way forward is to not get so emotional, to be He knows exactly what he wants, but he's very stubborn. So it's standing your ground, really. As you move forward, don't deviate from your your hopes and dreams. Don't deviate from your beliefs, from you from what you feel is right. You reap what you sow, and he he has got to a stage where He's very happy with what he's done and what he's created. He's very a very wealthy gentleman. So it's taking advice as well. So perhaps there is someone around you that you can take advice from. Again, with the hermit as the card that's around you now is about seeking a mentor. It doesn't hurt for us to talk to somebody and gain their advice. 
often it helps us because it it moves us forward okay so the environment card is the queen of winter <laughs> so the very strong female presence let go of people and things that no longer serve you now is the time to focus on your career especially for unmarried or divorced people it's self-sufficient and patient as well so the strength that you need to move forward I said earlier you only need yourself it's true you can do this embrace the changes that the world brings because it's ultimately going to lead you to a better place. So what's in your fears position? Let's have a look. The four of spring. Be grateful you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness and a personal life. So the four of, of summer is about having... It's, it's the fairy tale, really. It, the perfect relationship, the perfect home. Everything's blossoming in the garden. They've just got married. So this is in your fears position. So perhaps you, this, this is possible for you. So what, what's holding you back? What's stopping you grabbing hold of that perfect relationship and perfect ending? What's stopping you embracing a relationship for all that it is and enjoying it? I think this is also about making your partner happy and wanting them to be happy in their choices and then being happy in your choices. So although you can do it all alone if you want to, because these two do, this is about ultimately not wanting that. This is about ultimately wanting the fairy tale ending. Okay, before I turn the final outcome for your reading for April, I always like to say that we've got free will and we decide the outcome of our journey. So let's see what the cards advise. The King of Autumn. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything is going your way. A good person or a good company to work for. So this is our earthly base. This is related to a job. This is related to having everything materialistically. So if there's new opportunities for that new job, take them because it's going to pay off. What you decide to do is going to pay off for you. But also stand stand your ground. This, this month you're going to need to stand your ground as well because the King and the Queen of Swords and the King of Autumn is all, all about being... And the King of Summer, you've got the kings of three of the suits. You know, the most powerful uh, characters in that suit. You've got them all. And yet... The one card where who has them all, the magician, is the card that stops you moving forward. So this is a lot about self-belief. Believing in yourself. And a month of transformation as well. But also don't forget your money. You need to sort your money and your finances out. Okay. Before I go, I will pull... Fairy healing card from the Doreen Virtue pack. Don't forget the uh, energy that's coming through the moon as well from the card of a winter's dream. Soak up that energy. You know, soak up the knowledge that that energy has. From all the kingdoms of the elementals. The moon holds the doorway to eternity. So use it. Open that door. 
go through the door. Okay. So let's see. But most of all, follow your dreams. Set intentions before you go to bed at night. Set intentions of exactly what it is. If that's what your your passion and your desire, then set those intentions before you go to bed. If you've got new plans, you can have the whole world. There's nothing you cannot have, nothing you cannot do. So set those intentions before you go to bed at night. Use dream time. Use dream time to connect. You'll be amazed at the opportunities that show themselves if you do. I'd like to thank you for listening to my reading. I hope it resonated with some of you. Please like and comment if it did. And also subscribe to my channel. I am new to doing the general readings even though I've been doing tarot readings for many years and I teach the tarot it's um, something new with regard to YouTube general readings so feedback would be lovely thank you and I hope you all have a great month and I'll speak to you soon